Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This will be a review on the NECA Retro Cloth Trick or Treat Sam figure. And it's about eight inches tall. And I got it from Mad About Horror. And it got here really fast. I also at the same time bought the Mezco 15 inch Child's Play 2 Chucky doll. So I'm gonna review that next. But amazing service from Mad About Horror. Thank you very much, folks. Got here super quick and they packaged it up so nicely. No damage to any boxes and just a lot of care put into the service so thank you very much to the folks who made about horror so i wanted to shoot this little intro and just let you know that i have padded or stuffed sam a little bit in his kind of tummy area now i have uh, it's really easy to do on this figure so i just you know the velcro at the back there you just undo that and then i'll just insert a little clip now before i did it to show you what i used all right folks so i've just shown you this bit of before footage this is before i've padded or stuffed Sam here so as you can see really skinny from the side quite skinny from the front but there is a fair bit of space or room in his costume for some stuffing to go in so I want to do that now so yeah you definitely need to quite skinny and this is what I'm using I basically pulled some stuffing out of one of Ruby's chew toys usually I'd use like a flat kind of cotton pad but I really needed this kind of cloud, kind of fluffy cloud, cotton, whatever it is. Came out of, you know, like I said, a dog's chew toy. So nice and soft, should do the job perfectly. So just the kind of fluff that was inside one of Ruby's chew toys. And just stuffed a little bit, bit of that in his belly. And it definitely helps with the proportions. I also did it finally to Chucky, the retro cloth Chucky. And his proportions are so much better now. He's just a bit thicker. He was very thin before. I didn't want to go too far with it. And just for comparison, where is it? Uh, seriously, where? Oh, there it is. It, so here is the same figure, but unmodified. So two retro cloth Charles Play One Chuckies, but this one has not been stuffed. So you can see. Whoa! Stand up. So you can see, very thin, very thin. So definitely needed stuffing. There we go. So that's the difference between the two now. I mean, you could definitely still pad this out. It's quite tricky with Chucky because this top is a separate piece to the kind of dungarees. So for the front, I did Chucky at the back with the Velcro strap there, and then just Put the arms forward and then pulled the outfit forward and was able to stuff the front section that was easy to do uh, but then to stuff his butt you have to kind of stuff it down the back here of the dungarees and that's a bit more tricky because it's a more enclosed area but yeah the proportions on chucky are much better now i'm going to do it to this one too but i wanted to leave this one stock so that you could see the difference before you pad them out so definitely worth doing that to your chucky figure if you have one of these Obviously this one is completely sort of weathered and did a bit of a repaint, added some blood and buried him in mud in the back garden because they do that in the movie, Charles Play 2. So I thought, well, let's just do it. Let's just bury him. Leave him there for a spell. Come back, paint him up, get him looking good. All right, so back to Sam. Rather than waiting until the end of the video, I'll show you how Sam looks amongst the Slasher Kings uh, beginning of the video so you can just get that out of the way. He looks awesome. Absolutely awesome amongst the rest of the gang. I finally properly watched uh, Hellraiser 2 Hellbound. That was grim. <laughs> the bit on the mattress, man, that was messed up. A little bit disturbed. The effects in these movies, the original three movies, well, the original two movies are really quite dark and, you know, but, oh, it's just, it's messed up. <laughs> Loving having Pinhead here. And now Sam. Myers, Freddy, Chucky, proportions fixed. Myers again, the original OG. Jason, Leatherface. And one more horror icon in one six scale on the way. Can't wait to review that one and show it to you. All right, now let's get on with the review. Contrast to the horror, it is a beautiful morning. It's 
sunrise. Winged beasts. Now just give you a quick little peek at Chucky. This is the next thing I'll review. Incredible, absolutely incredible job by Mezco. It's ridiculous. That head sculpt is so on point. Anyway, that's coming up on the channel soon. All right, now with the Retro Cloth Sand by NECA, you get the figure. He has the two hands that are attached, no spare ones. He does come with his pumpkin lollipop. And he comes with his kind of burlap, kind of sack mask. And it's lined on the inside with a kind of white foam, which keeps the shape. So that is really handy and well thought out. And then there's the string that ties around his neck. And you get his sack, which I also stuffed with the same stuffing that I used for his midsection there. And then just tied it up again. And they have put a wire going through this lining. Uh, just one big wire kind of going all the way around, which allows you to kind of, you know, if you have the sack empty, you can kind of look like he's holding on to it and keep its shape. So really nice inclusion of the wire running through the sack there. And the figure looks great. Absolutely fantastic. Really pleased with it. The packaging is pretty simple, but it does have this nice card artwork. I think most of the time it's artwork by Jason Edmonston, but I don't know if this is by him. But it's a really cool picture of Sam there with the mask on. And on the back, you get some images of the different looks you can have. So really, really cool piece. And you've got some credits there for the folks involved. Shout out to Carl Windrix for an excellent job. Uh, oh, and the packaging by Chris Ramo. Is that how you say that? Sorry if I'm getting it wrong. Uh, but yeah, folks involved. Well done. Another awesome release by NECA. Let's take a look at the head sculpt here. Let's move his lolly out of the way. And you have a mouth that opens and closes. And like I've said before, when I did the review on the ultimate NECA Sam figure, which I have over there, I'll bring him in towards the end. We'll see a little comparison between the two. That was kindly sent to me by Irene and Mark, if you're watching. Hey, Irene and Mark. Hope you're doing well. And the eyes on this have a really kind of cool reflective quality to them. And like I was saying, he reminds me of the kind of infant stage pumpkin head a little bit. I mean, there's a similarity there. Obviously, his, his head looks like a pumpkin, which helps. <laughs> but a very, very nice sculpt on this. Really good paint job. Now, the color of the head doesn't quite match the, the color of the body. But I could fix that with some paint. It's not a big deal. You don't really see it too obvious anyway. And speaking of the body, I'm not too sure if anyone's ever said this before, but it can't be... See, the Chucky body that was used for the retro cloth, that didn't have a good... Uh, well, as good... I suppose, actually, now that I'm doing this, this arm earlier got the double bend in the elbow. That really works well, the double bend in, on this side. You can really do it quite easily. This arm... I'm not, I don't seem to be getting the double bend. Maybe it's just this arm that has, that's very strange if that's the case, because that has a real double bend in it. Oh man, I'm tempted to, might as well just see if I can, I'm not going to be able to see, but let's see. What's going on here? No, that's a double bend. Oh, okay, so there you go. It should be moving there as well, it's just a bit stiff. So yeah, two double bend elbows. Now we know. Uh, and yeah, the stuffing, you can see how I did that. You just pull this forward and stuff him. Very easy. Super, super easy to do with Sam here. And very, very effective because he was really skinny. And I remember how cute he was walking around in the movie. He definitely needed uh, stuffing a little bit. So that has worked out great. Super easy for you guys to do. Uh, some of you might have already done it. But what I was going to say was this body would be perfect maybe maybe a little bit underscaled tiny amount but i think this could be a good body to use if you were going to make a custom young michael myers from the original 78 movie at the beginning 
Uh, you'd probably need to get someone like Tanila's Customs to make you the outfit Michael was wearing. And then maybe someone like Ryan Harper could make the head sculpt. Uh, and then you'd maybe just have to obviously alter these shoes to make them a bit more accurate to the 78 Michael. Um, and what else? Kitchen knife, I've already got that. Hands, you would have to figure that out because these are the only ones you get with this. And they're obviously gloved, fingerless gloves. But I'm pretty sure you could use this body to make a really good young Michael Myers. Even a young Michael Myers from the Rob Zombie film, possibly. But it's a very good sort of child size 1-6 scale body is my point. It's got double bend elbows and um, it's very good. But back to the head sculpt, I think it's really, really fantastic. There's a nice wet look to all the places that should have a wet look, the inside of the mouth. Zoom in, there we go. But yeah, now you can see the inside of the mouth. There's a lot of cool detail in there. You can close it nice and tight. Really good movement in the head also. Looking around. All the way around, exorcist style. <laughs> you best make an effort on October 31st or I'm going to come for you in the night. And just when you're sleeping, that's when I'll be peeping. Trying to snatch your soul. And the outfit's really well done. It's a nice material. We've got little patches sewn on here. But yeah, really nicely done. It's quite simple. Not much to talk about, really. It's It's got that nice kind of felt kind of feel to it. A bit fluffier, really. And a lot of room in here for padding. And, oh, bless him. Look at him. Wow, you got some really good articulation in the arms. <laughs> I surrender! I surrender! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! <laughs> I'm just trying to keep that spirit alive! <laughs> Alright, sorry, I was just trying to get a good thumbnail, so I went with that. So before I put his mask on, just checking some more articulation here. Like I said, an amazing body here, some really good movement. Have you got a double bend in the knee? I don't think he does. Um, there's no kind of side-to-side -side movement, but you do get front and back with the ankles. So that's good, you know, judo chop that karate action going on yeah. Eh, eh, eh. alright well you can just watch as I put the, the mask back on which seems to be quite an easy thing to do ok well that's done <laughs> that was easy um, yeah I'm going to go ahead and tie his neck now where's that little bit of string here we go so bring that around right the front Go ahead and just a simple little knot there, pull it around, make sure that's not trapped. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry little dude. Now I don't want these to be sticking out in the air, I want them to fall naturally, like they have weight to them, which they were doing when he first came out of the box, I'm sure that will just work itself out. There we go. Ow! Come on. Sam. Cooperate. Cooperate. There we go. Alright, so just a little visual comparison for you before I wrap things up, give my final thoughts. Now this is the ultimate Sam figure by Necker here, more of a sculpted smaller version. Came with many different head sculpts, lots of different goodies to play with. And then we have on the left, the retro cloth version, which is obviously material over the very articulated body. Uh, obviously a bigger figure, this will fit in very well with your 1-6 scale horror figure collection. Uh, give this one a 10 out of 10. I probably gave this version a 10 out of 10 when I reviewed him. I can't remember, but I don't see any reason why I wouldn't have done. Uh, but this, yeah, 10 out of 10. Amazing body that they've used here. Really good articulation, great proportions. Yes, I did have to un-Velcro him at the back and stuff in some stuffing to make his proportions a little bit more accurate, but it was so much of a minor, quick, little, easy thing to do. It doesn't even hit a, f a point on the hassle scale. It was just an easy little mod to do. Two minutes, and it was done. Uh, amazing head sculpt underneath here with the articulated jaw. Very real looking with the shiny kind of eyes and the shiny mouth. Really well, you know, really well sculpted and painted. Uh, excellent job here with the kind of burlap kind of sack with the foam inside to keep the circular shape. Uh, excellent material used here for the outfit. 
uh, really nice detail on the lollipop which now has a kind of nice transparent kind of quality to it so when the light hits it it looks like a real lolly uh, really good job with the sack I've stuffed that with uh, stuffing as well but probably uh, would look even better without the stuffing just like an empty sack that's kind of just in his hand but really really good job including the wire that goes all the way around the sack so that you can bend it and pose it they didn't have to do that but they did really really nice touch um, just an amazing looking piece uh, now there is some blood stains on the ultimate version here on the sculpted sack so I might add some blood stains to this one at some point we'll see uh, but both excellent 10 out of 10 for the retro cloth probably gave that a 10 out of 10 when I reviewed that um, check out the review for him uh, make sure you check out mad about horror I bought this on Monday along with Chucky at the same time who I'm going to review next bought them on Monday it was here first thing Wednesday packaged it up so well I think I probably Mark maybe packaged it up who I just did a live Facebook video with from mad about horror a couple of weeks ago really really cool dude and they just provide such a great service you just rest easy when you buy stuff from them man they're just mad about horror if you're in the UK that's the place to get your horror stuff but yeah man I can't recommend this enough he's a great addition to the Sasha King collection up on the shelf there and I'm super happy to have both versions now so drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it folks make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon next to the subscription button that way you'll get notifications every time i upload a new video the next video will be a review on the mezco 15 inch child's play 2 chucky doll amazing piece can't wait to show it to you all right thanks for watching folks see you soon take it easy bye bye <laughs> yeah.